Did I catch you in the middle of something? No. Why? Well, it's just that you took so long to answer the door. Oh, I was upstairs. Oh. Please come in, honey. You know, I woke up this morning thinking about our dinner in Kabul. Remember? Kabul, Kabul. Well, vaguely. Vaguely? You said a lot of things that night, including a promise or two in there somewhere. Well, as I recall, it's a long time ago. Now, also, it was a, a long night and I hadn't slept. Then what are you doing here? Just thought I'd stop by to say good morning. Yeah, when you aren't stampeding along memory lane. Oh, is it that painful for you? All those great memories. The past is the past. I am at the moment preoccupied with the present. Come on, Robbie. What's wrong? I mean, you definitely look like you got up on the wrong side of bed this morning. Do you mind? Mind what? Look, it's something I really don't want to discuss. It's private business. I don't want to talk about it. Sure. I understand. Good. So why don't you offer me a cup of coffee? I'll forget all about it. How's about some tea? Ugh, you know, I hate that stuff. That's right. Yeah, you probably did forget that, too, anyway. That's all right. Forget the coffee. I didn't want it anyway. Why don't we get right down to work? Right. What will that entail? Work. Robbie, W-O-R-K. It's morning, and it is time to get started. It's about half past dawn when most decent people are in bed. Is that a proposition? It's, it's a suggestion. Mm. You in your bed, me in mine, separate houses. <laughs> my, 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 we are grumpy this morning. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Sorry, I don't believe. You're right, I'm a lousy liar. Let's get back to the original question. What are you doing here? I want to get started. Well, it's a bit early to talk to Gerald, isn't it? I know. But I came over to borrow the computer. Well, why didn't you say so? You never asked. Well, what's this all about? You want to tap into the WSB again? Yeah, you got it. I have to get some more information. Then be my guest. Ah, thank you. Uh, not this time, sorry. Classified. Yeah. Until I get clearance to tell you. Well, I can take the hint. Robbie. I know. Look, don't worry about it. Your privacy is sacrosanct. I'll just go upstairs and change. So where's the little woman? Sleeping in? The little woman is out jogging in the park. Oh, such dedication. You have something to do?
No. One morning, thank you. How was your run? Exhausting. Well, you know what they say, no pain, no gain. Oh, then I should be in great shape. You are. You appear to have really exhausted yourself this morning. Well, I tried. Can I get you something? Oh, I could use some juice. Good, let me. No, no, I'll get it. No, look, I can... I, I can I... manage. Uh... Would you like to have lunch with me at the rib today? All right, let me rephrase the question. Will you have lunch with me at the rib today? How does the direct order grab you? Look, Harley, you've got to cut this out. You can't keep on hiding forever. From me, yourself, Luke, the world, you name it. How's about making a stand, huh? Robbie, I think we should be getting over... Oh, hello. Hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Busy. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> Did I interrupt something? Mm. Not at all. No, not really. Uh, why don't I meet you over in Gerald's office in a little while? That's a great idea. I'll see you there shortly. Nice seeing you again. Don't work too hard. Are you going to be all right? I just need a hot bath. How's about some hot conversation? Robert. Uh, look, all right. Yeah, I said it. I'll be at the rib for lunch. I hope you decide to join me. Right. <laughs> Amazing. You have hidden cameras out there, don't you? Uh, no, it's just a coincidence, actually. I was uh, really just on my way out the door. Oh, really? How disappointing. I thought you were on the lookouts for spies or something oh, dramatic like that. <laughs> that's always a possibility. Is Holly in? Yes. Is she all right? You've heard. I was shocked. Stand in line. How is she taking it? Well, you can see for yourself, actually. Uh, actually, it's a good idea that you dropped in. Maybe she'll talk to you. Well, if it's a bad No, no, time... no, please. Please. I'm glad you're here. Say hello. Okay. Holly, you poor thing. I couldn't believe it when I heard it. You're Luke alive? You did me. Well, you look like you're functioning normally. Well, thank God for a routine. It keeps me from thinking. How long? I don't know. I'm just taking things minute by minute. Otherwise, I'd just go mad. I wouldn't blame you. Imagine. My finest dream and my worst nightmare came true right at the same time. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. And now? I'm in shock, still. I tried to reach you all day yesterday. I was so worried. Well, it's just as well you didn't reach me. I was a basket case. Well, how do you feel now? I mean, right this minute. I don't know. Hurt? Sad? Angry? <sighs> Dead. Numb, like it hasn't hit me yet. It's like the bottom has dropped out of my life. Oh, no, no. The bottom hasn't dropped out. It's just split right down the middle, leaving you caught in between. Without the slightest idea of how to put myself together again. Oh, I know the feeling only too well. Well, yes, you would. Speaking of which, how are you? Fine now. Something happened? A miracle. What? I made up my mind. You're leaving Grant? Oh, no, no. I'm marrying him. Uh, well, I'm glad I didn't have money riding on no. it. <laughs> I know, it did seem a little unlikely for a time there. Yeah, try impossible. But I've come to my senses. Jimmy Lee was a fling. An outrageous, exciting, passionate one, but only that. <laughs> only? Yes, I couldn't keep up that pace. And frankly, I came to a point where I didn't even want to any longer. Sounds like you're growing up. Oh, no. No, I hope not. <laughs> but looking toward the future, anyway. I want something solid, a relationship I can count on. I want to be Mrs. Grant Putnam. 
Well, I'm happy for you. Really. But? Oh, nothing, nothing about you. I just wish I knew what I wanted. Well, Hello. this was well timed. Dr. Gerald, you, isn't it? Connie? Hi. Grant. Nice to see you again, Robert. Uh, Celia and I were just talking about you and Holly. We've got to get together again. Funny thing, I just came from Celia. She's with, um, she's with Holly now. How is she? Well, Holly's had a rough time of it of late. Mm. If there's anything we can do... I know. Thank you. Grant, if you have a minute, we could go find that article. Yes, I'd like to see it. Uh, would you excuse sure. us? Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Everything's secure here? Buttoned up tight. How's the home front? Oh, okay. What did you learn from a WSB? Nothing new. Finding the mole is still A1 priority. So we're back where we started. Yeah. It could be anyone. And anywhere in Fort Charles. Good afternoon, Mrs. Scorpio. Hello, Julie. Is my husband here? No, he hasn't arrived, but can I show you to a table now? Yes, please. Follow me. Something to drink? Um, a glass of white wine, please. Coming up. It sure is nice to see you here. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, I've been, I've been busy. Well, welcome back. I'll have the way to bring your wine right over. Oh. Table for one. Uh, no, thank you. I'm meeting her. Hi. Hello. Sorry I'm late. No, no, I just got here myself. Good afternoon, Commissioner. Your wife is sitting at that table right over there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. You did invite me. I'll be honest, I didn't expect you to turn up. I never said I wouldn't. No, you never said anything. Uh, I'm running a little late. I, uh, well, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Well, we never set a time. Uh, no, but I have to call into the university on the... Way back from police headquarters. I haven't been here long. Do you order for me? Yeah. Holly? Sorry, what did you say? Am I keeping you from something? No. Would you prefer to have lunch with him? Of course not. It has about this much attention for me. I'm wondering about that woman with him. Right. Really? Well, are you jealous? I think it's... So it is you. Hello, Holly. Hope you do remember me. Oh, very well. Do you also remember lying to me? I beg your pardon. How dare you not tell me that Luke was alive? We, we met here in the rib at the bar and at the lodge, and now once did you mention that he was alive. How could you do that to him and to me? Damn, how could you do that to us? Holly, I think you She did that. Because she is my friend. She did that because she cares about me. She wanted me to get well. She knew very well that if I knew about the two of you, I would probably not get well. So she did it for me. Thanks. Go. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not going to let them drive you away. No, no, it, it isn't that. I have a patient back at the hospital. I, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? Oh, Natalie, I, I want to celebrate my new job. Oh, you feel like celebrating here? No? Why not? Luke, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled for you. Really, I am, but I just, I just can't. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later about it, okay? I have to go. Do you want me to come with you? No, of course not. You stay and finish your lunch. Well, I'm not that hungry. I had a very big breakfast. Are you sure you're going to be okay here by yourself? I'm fine. I'm all right. Okay. See you. Bye.
Waiter? should be going up at work to do. You hardly touched your food. I'm not hungry. Uh, ready? Uh, I'd like a cup of tea. Stalling for time? Of course not. Nice stiff brandy. <laughs> 